Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG. I'm back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about five theoretical tracks that Kunos could possibly be able to add to ACC. Now a lot of people are going to say, you know, we've had tracks recently, Kota, Indianapolis, Watkins Glen, but I still believe there are some tracks that would benefit this game so, so much. And I know people, you know, people's favourite tracks like Nordschleife, we already know that's pretty much impossible to bring to ACC because it's not part of the SRO, it's not part of the SRO circle, but there is tracks in Asia and in America that we still don't have that are in um, GT Challenge America and GT Challenge Asia. And there also is GT Challenge Australia, but those tracks may be a little bit more difficult to get hold of, I'm not too sure. Um, but I did compile a list of five tracks that I would like to see that I think would drastically change ACC for the better. And they're tracks that, you know, we don't really have that type of track on the game at the moment so it would be nice to um switch it up a little bit and for the for the case of improving the endurance racing not always doing 24 hours around spa and stuff like that i would love to see these tracks but anyway guys let's get stuck into the video and let's try and hit 50 likes that will help me massively and yeah let's get stuck in okay the first circuit we're going to concentrate on is malaysia now this is definitely one of my favorite tracks for sure um, if you watch F1 in the last 10 years and you'll know that this was always a good race, tends to have a lot of drama and could you imagine this, this circuit with sort of the ACC dynamic weather and if the weather was attuned to the actual um, weather conditions in Malaysia, it's always a monsoon, we could actually get those old school sort of thunderstorm races that we used to get back in the day on ACC that no one tends to really do anymore but if we was to run real life weather then you might get a lot of that sort of stuff happening on Malaysia because it is one of the conditions that do come with that part of the world. And I've always just thought it was a very, very good racing circuit, man. It's wide, so many different lines you could take for corners and you can't sort of underestimate your opponent because if you take the wrong line into one corner, there's always an opportunity on the next corner to sort of get your position back or get side by side and fight again. There's not too many circuits on ACC that are similar to that. Um, if you just look at the last sector, for instance, you've got the long back straight and then you've got an overtaking opportunity into the into the last corner. And then from the last corner, there's an overtaking opportunity into the first corner. From the first corner, you've got an overtaking opportunity through um, turn three up to turn four. It's just literally just an insane lap, man. So many places to throw a move down the inside of someone. And this part of the circuit is pretty technical as well. You have to really, you know, it looks like you can go for the corner a lot faster than you can but you run out of track on the outside very quickly. And again, through this corner as well, it's pretty tricky, but I just do like the way, you know, you can take, there's loads of different lines you can choose to take. As I actually got it wrong for this corner, I broke a little bit of the back and stepped out and just sort of, you know, put me offline. But again, if, if that was a race situation, I'd be definitely under pressure down this straight. But even if I lost the position here, I can pretty much make sure I, you know, get into the slipstream, fight all the way to the last corner and then I've got the run back down to turn one which may give me the, a chance to get my position back which is one of the main reasons why I think Malaysia would be a great addition to ACC and um, it's, it's a pity that we haven't got GT Challenge Asia at the moment but on to the next circuit man Shang International which is in Thailand and um, I watched this track quite a bit on MotoGP um, another very good track, another track that's very different from anything we have. Again, in, in Asia, the tracks seem to be extremely wide. <laughs> now, I can already see this first first two corners on ACC being three, four cars wide going into this hairpin, man. Um, a, very, a very different circuit. It's a little bit technical, but it does have areas that are pretty straightforward as well. Again, sort of like Malaysia, towards the end of the lap is where things start to get a little bit more technical. It's a bit more single file, but this whole part of the circuit, you're going to get a lot of racing, a lot of side by side action. And as I said before, I like circuits that are, you know, different from what we've had. And for me, I've been playing ACC since before it was actually released. You know, I've been playing it since the beta, since early 2018. And we've been going around the same tracks for a long, long time. And I feel like tracks are more important than getting new cars. I honestly do. You know, I feel like you can get new cars. What happens is some, they bring out a new GT3. It will get rinsed for maybe maybe a month or so. 
and then people will be back using whatever they like or whatever's quickest and that's pretty much the way it goes man um it's the tracks i feel like that really makes a big difference i feel like if we get the tracks that are, are really needed for acc then there's literally no stop in this game because graphically everything else the game is amazing but on the tracks it's probably on the short side i would say um especially because some of the tracks are just not quite there not in terms of the way they look but they're just for racing they're just you know tracks like snetterton and stuff like that they're just not there but on to the next track and we have um china which is again another circuit that is um, on, on the F1 calendar, I say China, I mean Shanghai. Another circuit that's on the F1 calendar hasn't been on recently, but another this this is a tricky track, man. Especially on, for a GT3 car, it's pretty tricky. But you can see um, they do tend to have very, very well-built circuits in Asia. And they are very different from the traditional circuits that you'll see in Europe and stuff like that. And I feel like you just get a, you just get a different... It's just a different type of vibe of these tracks for me personally um there's always multiple overtaking opportunities around these tracks that's why i tend to like i tend to like the the asian tracks the asian races a lot um compared to some of the european races you've got you've got tracks like barcelona and to be honest it's, it's pretty boring um it's, it's a decent track to drive and stuff but you know they're kind of boring when i think about all the the asian tracks that i've seen and witnessed over the years there's some quality tracks like career that was a great track i don't know why f1 stopped going there maybe it was a money issue but that was a great track um we've really got we spoke about malaysia already there's a ton of others like zoo high and tracks like that that you know we don't go to but um yeah i've just always thought like in gt cars this track would be immense just even through this section as we're coming down onto the back straight you can just imagine trying to line your car up perfectly to get the run down the street and I always feel like there's, you know, there's a lot of overtaking opportunities to be had on these sort of circuits where on, you know, on a lot of the other circuits on, on um, ACC, there really is the one or two places to pass and that's it. Whereas this, these circuits, a lot of the time, it, if you take different lines, you create a lot more opportunities for yourself, man. Um, and as I said, very, very different. I would, to be honest, I'd love a street track. I would love a street track, but... Um, only street tracks I can really think of ever coming or, or would actually be possible. Tracks like, I don't know, maybe Macau, that would just be an absolute, <laughs> that would be an absolute cluster fest, I'm telling you. Now we move over to America and I can't believe we did not get this track in the American pack. I cannot believe we missed out Road America. This track to me, in terms of racing, is absolutely goating, man. It's absolutely good. I can't believe we, you know, we got Indianapolis, which is not a bad track. You know, Watkins Glen is also a great track. And I do like Kota. I do like Kota on ACC as well. Um, but Road America, how could we How could we miss this, man? This track is, this is a quality track for sure. Um, on every game, on every game I've ever played, Road America has always been great fun, you know. And um, long straights, a little bit technical through the middle. But it's a very fast flowing circuit and I just think that it would have it would have aided a lot of good races and I feel like, you know, if you're doing endurance races, people would have wanted to drive around tracks like this, man. You know, there's some tracks where you just can't really do endurance racing. But I I believe these are one of the tracks where you could have got away with it. And maybe there's not enough, you know, I don't know whether ACC would have added a lot of lighting or whatever. I don't think they would have added fake lights if it's not there in real life but um who cares i 100 percent would have been down to drive this track in in endurance races for sure because it's, it's actually a fun track man you actually just this track just makes you want to push literally just makes you want to go flat out it's one of those um pretty much like like for instance like when Kal when kyle army first came to the game i just i never wanted to get off that track you know it was so much fun it was so different and I believe Road America is something different as well. It's got all the undulation, like quality corners, you know. Um, I would have much preferred to have had this than had Indianapolis, if I'm honest, you know. Um, 
I do prefer Indianapolis to like tracks like Sonoma, but I believe this track was definitely one we, we missed out on, man. And uh, this would have been a good one for sure. On ACC, this would have been an absolute banger. 110%. Not many tracks better than Road America, especially in America. I, I believe it's probably the best American circuit. Fortunately, I had to go back to Project Cars 2. But this is a completely different circuit to what we got. It's literally tiny. Um, but Sugo is another very fun circuit and it was on the calendar for the um, GT Challenge Asia I believe it was 2018 or 2019 um, so definitely a track that you know could could have made its way onto the game it's such a fun little circuit as well it's another it's another circuit where you absolutely just you just go absolutely flat out nice corners not too sure how much overtaking we would have got around here especially on ACC would have been pretty difficult but i mean qualifying would have been amazing around this circuit i can just imagine it it kind of feels like it would be a bit of a porsche track if i'm honest but um i certainly enjoyed the track when i've tried it in the past i feel like it's although it's small it's very flowing it, it, like you get a, a different level of satisfaction when you nail a lap around sugo you know very very satisfact very the corners give you a lot of satisfaction when you're taking these corners man they're, they're fast and you just gotta have the nose of the car pointing into the corners it has to be a little bit pointy to get through the corners but i believe it was a fun track and i would have loved to have seen it on acc man but if you guys have got any tracks that you might have wanted to see and i'm talking about tracks that we could actually use not tracks that are not on the sro um not in the sro sort of calendars of gt challenge asia or or um, Australia, America, stuff like that. Uh, we know we couldn't get tracks like Le Mans or, or um, Nordschleifer. So tracks that are on the calendars, what tracks would you guys like to have seen? Uh, me personally, there's a couple that I missed out, but I didn't have access to. I couldn't bother to download AC again and get all the mods, but probably Phillip Island is one that I would have liked to have seen as well. Great circuit. Um, but other than that, I mean, those are the tracks that I myself would have picked. But yeah, remember to leave a like, cryptic TNG, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.